What's going on my Fly Agent family? It's your boy Izzy. Welcome if you're new. This video is going to explain why people don't like any other WNBA players or get them credit. And it's not because of race. Why the WNBA desperately needed Caitlin Clark to come in his league. And why Caitlin Clark fans are catching so much hostility from everybody else. We're going to jump right into this clip, but before we do that, y'all make sure y'all hit the thumbs up for your boy if you like the content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit at least 8,500 by the end of the day. We are less than 100 away. So if y'all can help me out with that, man, I highly appreciate that. And don't forget to get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this. Let's get it. Then Parker loses it from behind. Canada. Try to finish inside and left it short. Is there anybody in the WNBA that could beat Jack Diesel on one-on-one -on -one right no now? Way. No, never. I, I have a solution for the WNBA. I don't know if you know, in, in, in males beach volleyball and women's beach volleyball, the net is lowered just a little bit. I think if they did that, it would make the game more exciting. Why can't we lower the goal to at least nine, nine and a half feet? No. No. It's so much deeper than just dunking. The conversation about changing the rim is to placate someone that is looking for a reason probably not to support the, the women that play. Yeah. Lowering the rim, like I say, it's a tired argument, it's a nonsensical argument, and it's very insulting to every professional women's basketball player. I mean, I don't want no help. Bye. Oi, Patrick, what do you call this? Uh, stupid. No, Patrick, it's the WNBA it is. What's the difference? Blimey, Patrick, are you any of the misogynists I'll be hearing about on Twitter? I don't give a f Well, would you look at that? Neither do I. I'm all about inclusivity and equality. I'll trash both the leagues. And poor you deluded, delusional, self-righteous WNBA players out there. Let me channel my inner Al Gore and give you an inconvenient truth. The fact that you are women has nothing to do with the lack of interest. Because even in the NBA, when a team is getting blown out in their own arena, people don't want to watch that shit. A second hasn't even ticked in the fourth quarter and these people are out of here and they paid money to show up. And why are they leaving? Because quote unquote scrubs are out there playing. Nobody knows who they are. Even if the stars are still out there, they don't want to see that. Uh, I just left the game. There's seven minutes left. We're down, I think, 42. Scrubs are in the game. So don't sit there in these safe space interviews pretending to not know what the answer is as to why people don't watch or to boil it down to just dunking. Yeah, you're right. It's not just dunking. It's because the sport is boring. Women's tennis? I watched that. Women's football? I watched that. Women's track and field? My God, she's something special. I watched that. But this right here. Oh, my fucking. Mikael Bridges was recently at a WNBA game. For what reason, I do not know. But they interviewed him for two whole minutes. And the entire time, there wasn't one score. It was bricks, air balls, balls thrown out of bounds. It may as well have been two teams of DJ Khaled playing against each other. But it was an off night. The whole season is an off night. So it's the highest level of basketball, and if you love basketball, um, you love the WNBA. Stop it. How do you utter such nonsense with a straight face? Well, what's she supposed to say? She's a WNBA player. She can't talk bad about the league she represents. Stop saying your league is better. The men aren't doing that, so why are you doing it? You want to know why? Because you don't know how to talk good about yourselves and your league without putting yourselves on a pedestal and tearing men down. So since you want to do that, I'm going to tear you down. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. You throw such a huge fuss about dunking because you can't do it. We know can dunk, but good fundamentals. That more fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it either. Straight, I'm a normal ass dude with flat ass feet. What's your excuse? Brittany Griner can't even dunk in an open gym, but yet she owns over 80% of all dunks in the WNBA's history. This next box job requires the tying of my shoe. Trash. Chill out on Brittany Griner. No, remember when she said she was better than DeMarcus Cousins, who was at the time the best center in the NBA? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, little man. Ooh. Second WNBA player to dunk in a game. <laughs> <laughs> These are on the all-time highlights of WNBA. First player to dunk in back-to-back -back games. Oh, my God. Amazing. 
first player to dunk in her debut. Oh, Lord have mercy, I can't handle it. They literally average 1.1 dunks every other season. Imagine waiting an entire presidential term to see a dunk. I wanted to stop it right here because don't that sound familiar? The back-to-back -back dunks. It explains why they are overhyping the double-double stuff. Brittany Griner literally thought she could beat DeMarcus Cousins. <laughs> this is what I was seeing last year. You see how, how offended they get when it comes to somebody saying lower the rim five inches? And they was dissing men, the one who was supporting their lead the most, dissing them. You need to be paid because you command the same respect. The game is just as good. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> I would rather watch Puppy Bowl than be forced to sit through an entire WNBA game. Watch players who don't want to help the sport that they play in get any better and just expect you to go along with it because feelings and then try to use the WNBA as an example of inequality and pay between men and women. This is an entertainment job. You're an entertainer. You only matter when you're entertaining. And if you're not entertaining, don't expect a big payday. Don't get it twisted, y'all. Sports is nothing but a facet of entertainment. These are athletically freakish entertainers, but still entertainment at the end of the day. And if you can't put butts in seats, you are fundamentally failing your prime directive. You can see it in real time on the internet. ESPN's YouTube channel with over 9.3 million subscribers uploads a WNBA video that in two hours only barely manages to get about 700 people to watch it. Tragic. Tragic. Diana Taurasi's ninth 20-point 10 assist game ties Courtney Vandersloot for the most in WNBA history. Meanwhile, look at the comments. Made a steak today, perfectly seared and medium rare. I must say I outdid myself with this one. It was delicious. Just graduated with my master's on May 5th. Full ride scholarship. I've been on my no fat journey for a week now. Looking forward to going 90 days strong. Hey, that, that's suspect. But see what I'm saying? If y'all been keeping up with my videos, y'all know I spoke specifically on this right here. And this was last year. I don't hold the women's basketball to the men's standard. I think they can provide good basketball without Duncan. But I'm not going to sit here and act like Duncan is not something that excites the game. I can accept if a woman would just say, yeah, we can't dunk. It is an exciting piece of the game. But I do think we can still excite people without the Duncan. Cool. I can accept that. They say everything but that. Oh, is, is basketball all about dunking? Oh, you dunk. Why, why we got to dunk? You dunk. You can't even dunk. Talking to the fans like this. Today I had Cinnamon Toast Crunch for the first time in 56 years. What? You went 56 years without eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Then you got this guy Garlic Noodles. Today I decided to clean my dirty white shoes after almost six months. These people are literally talking about anything other than what the community post is about. And you can go to any community post that has WNBA, anything of any sports channel, especially ESPN, people will go out of their way to show you they do not care care they are loudly ignoring you and why do they do this because of the toxicity you exhibit you constantly punch down on the very people who are supposed to be supplying you with said revenue that you say you deserve but you clearly don't the WNBA is pushing 30 the salaries you guys get are similar to the salaries NBA players got in the 70s but instead of trying to understand that fact, you want to complain about revenue that simply does not exist for you, which is why the WNBA has yet to have a profitable year in its almost 30 years of existence. But yet WNBA players have the nerve to talk sh to NBA players and about the NBA itself, the very thing that's keeping them alive. Since you want to- So somebody posted, I guess they was answering something um, Asia said already. Maybe if you were one or one millionth of the basketball LeBron is, you get paid equally. And then Asia turn around and say, LOL, oh, it's about skill set? Because I heard a bench player gets paid more than, never mind. 
Now, mind you, I don't want to beat up on the league, okay? Because I want them to become a profitable league. I want the best for them. I have a daughter. If she decides to go hoop, I would want her to hoop in a very profitable league that's giving her millions of dollars like the NBA is. Just because a, a fan says something about the NBA don't mean you got to double back and say something negative about the NBA. I peep that with Angel Reese fans. When they come on my channel, they try to like say stuff about my character and down Caitlin Clark and big up Angel Reese to try to make me say something about Angel Reese. And it's like, I, I like her game. I'm not going to talk bad about her. I don't know what you're fishing for. But just because you are ignorant of good basketball, that don't mean I got to attack Angel Reese or the WNBA in, 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 as a whole just to prove my point. Now, this is the most egregious thing I've ever seen. Skylar Diggins. Let's read what she said. I don't want this to go over your head right here. The NBA is filled with unskilled players making a living off of wild drives to the basket. Look at a player like LeBron. 75% of the WNBA is more skilled than him. They just don't have his size and strength. People need to realize this. You see how they wrecked their own league? They put a bitter taste in fans' mouths saying outrageous stuff like this. Now, mind you, the NBA players and the NBA are funding these players. This is the thanks they get. This is why nobody wants to acknowledge Asia Wilson is the best player right now. And about the NBA itself, the very thing that's keeping them alive. Since you want to be disrespectful, we can all be disrespectful. How does it feel to know that the NBA's highest paid mascot is getting paid triple than what the highest paid player in the WNBA is getting? <laughs> And he deserves every penny. Look at that right there. You see that? They wish they could do that. Draft him. He plays every WNBA game with a costume on. He averages a triple-double. I guarantee it. Guaranteed. And you know what the worst part about this is? Women don't even watch the WNBA. The very people who are doing all the complaining in the world don't even watch it. I bet you they couldn't even name one WNBA player that isn't Brittany Griner because if Putin didn't capture her, they wouldn't even know who that is. So you don't want to lower the rim. Every time it gets brought up, you roll your eyes. You want to keep punching down on the crowd that you're trying to win over. You want to also keep disrespecting NBA players who haven't said a word to you. And even when they do say something nice about you, you find a way to get your panties in a twist and get triggered. There's no... He is spot on right here, man. Put some respect on my name or keep this tweet to yourself. Love, have mercy. Everybody who agreed with Dr. Umar that last video, everybody who's saying it's white privilege, everybody who's saying these players deserve to be recognized, to have fandom like Caitlin Clark, to be put on a pedestal or elevated like Caitlin Clark. This is what y'all want us to hold on a pedestal right here. Man could just be a new fan. Man could just found you out of nowhere and just wanted to give you how he felt right at that moment and didn't know your name at the moment. But you know who he talking about, number 23 from the Mystics. Winning with any of you, so how's this for a trigger? This video will get more views than your average WNBA game. Damn. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. That's all I have to say about that. This video was specifically for the ones who think that it's all about race. It's not. This is a little history for you on to why it's so much disdain for the WNBA. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I appreciate you all for all the support. Love y'all. I'm going to see y'all on the next one, man. Y'all keep it smooth.